I built the fuel tanks for my Black Wasp Endurance plane out of aluminum beer cans. Let's see how I did that. The beer comes in 473 milliliter containers and three of them provide the capacity I need. Since Endurance is all about weight reduction, I thought I'd save a bit by sanding off the decorative paint. The original painted can weighed 493 grams, so did the unpainted can. I'd like to get some of that paint. It's highly opaque, fuel-proof, and weighs nothing. Anyway, it's not worth the trouble to sand off the cans. I wanted to leave the top of the can intact, so I got the beer out through a hole cut in the side. Keith doesn't like to waste beer, so he helped me empty one of the cans. I widened the hole and filed it large enough to gain access. I placed a small hole near the top for the vent and filed it large enough to accept a Sullivan fuel nipple. I used an X-Acto knife to deburr the hole. I don't like using the washer that comes with the fuel nipple because it deforms too easily when I tighten the nut, so I make my own out of a plastic water bottle. I use one washer inside the tank and one on the outside. I used JB Weld Quick on the washers and threads to help seal the fitting, but this really wasn't necessary. The fuel nipple is threaded easily into place using a bit of piano wire. Tightening the nut with two pliers always messes up the aluminum nipple, but I'm careful to stay away from the barb that actually seals against the fuel tubing. One vent was installed on the top. Since this was the center tank, the bottom had two fuel inlets and one fuel outlet. I cut a piece of aluminum from a spare can to patch the access hole. What I didn't realize at the time is that JB Weld Quick is not glow fuel proof. It gets soft and separates from the aluminum when soaked in Omega 25% Nitro. Fortunately, this takes a few days, so my fresh tanks lasted for our endurance flight later in the week. I'm not sure what a better alternative would be, but I should have tried painting that patch with silicone sealant and then holding it on with rubber bands, and I mean to keep the rubber bands on permanently. I didn't use muffler pressure in the setup, but I did test for leaks with a bit of pressure. I protected each can with bubble wrap. This allowed me to install the tanks using a snug fit rather than heavy tank mounts and straps. I'm Doug Blackmore.